Daily Pink Slip. From the Philippines to Indonesia, we're counting down the nine most exotic beaches in Southeast Asia and the sexy women you'll find there. I'm really going to try my best to pronounce the names of these. Number 9. Pattaya is a city and popular beach resort in Thailand. Of course, you can hang out on these giant beaches, go jet skiing, or just pose for the camera. A perfect getaway for you and five or six of your hot friends. But the aspect that sets this place apart is the nightlife. Check out this eye-popping downtown area, for example. Hit the clubs or maybe let the clubs hit you. Either way, it's guaranteed to be a good time. Number 8. Along the south central coast of Vietnam, you'll find the city of Nha Trang. This ultra beautiful and important tourist destination has breathtaking beaches and ocean waters perfect for exploring. Also, perhaps you wouldn't mind exploring the other views. This location was host to the 2008 Miss Universe pageant. There was quite the turnout. Hehe, <laughs> alright! Number 7. Pegudbud is another picturesque coastal resort town in the Philippines. A popular spot for movie productions and photo shoots, there is no shortage of attractive females around here. Of course, it's always encouraging to see the use of clean energy sources. You'll even witness plenty of undisturbed rock formations and mountains. One might argue that the view doesn't get any better than this. Wait, yeah. Now there's a mountain range that's easy on the eyes. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, uh, boats and windmills and stuff. Number 6. Located in Indonesia, Bali has been an increasingly popular tourist destination since the 1980s. This area is known for highly developed arts as well as highly developed individuals. Go scuba diving with the stingrays or go wild and just drink straight out of a coconut. Numerous resorts offer incredible views you just can't get anywhere else. Really, I mean it. Of course, even in the most exotic locations, you can never beat the simple pleasure of just relaxing and cuddling up with a good book. Number 5. Boracay is a small island in the Philippines. The beaches alone have received numerous awards and it's well known as an excellent spot for relaxation, though your heart may skip a beat at times for a variety of reasons. You can hit up some parasailing or just kick back and enjoy the open sea. It's also not a bad place to walk a horse in slow motion. Like roasting whole animals? Perhaps you'd enjoy the traditional Filipino pig roast right on the white sand beaches. Yes! Number 4. Yet another awesome Thailand location, Phran Yang is well known for its cliff sides and rock formations. There are even a few awesome caves to explore, especially the famous Princess Cave. This is where local fishermen believe is the home of a mythical sea princess. The Ray of 80 Resort is the only one along this beach, so in addition to being nice and secluded, it's also pretty much a financial monopoly. This area's waters also have a bunch of these long-tailed boats. If you do get hungry and you're away from the resort, some of these boats offer sandwiches and stuff, which is pretty cool. Also, babes. Lots Lots and lots of babes. Number 3. The Gili Islands consist of three separate land masses, the largest of which is Gili Trawangan. With a population of 1,500, this Indonesian vacation spot is entirely dependent on tourism, as it's really too small for any significant agriculture or industry. There are plenty of small resorts that allow you to take in everything the island has to offer. No cars allowed. You can walk, bike, or take a ride on one of these sweet horse-drawn carriages. Also, this is another one of those coconut sipping kind of places, you know what I mean? Even the guys are getting in on the action. Number 2. In Malaysia, you'll find Gaya Island, which is 3,700 acres of tropical rainforest surrounded by incredible ocean waters. Interestingly enough, this isn't the safest place to relax. Filipino refugees inhabit the island and are all considered illegal immigrants by the Malaysian government. Over the years, they have built a network of stilled houses along the beaches. There is one safe area on the island ironically named Police Beach. There's a resort there with massages, ladies, and more ladies. And the coral reefs surrounding Gaya Island are surprisingly well-preserved and well-suited for diving. Number 1. Our last Indonesian location is hidden in Komodo National Park. This park has, you guessed it, Komodo dragons just wandering all over the place. Awesome! But also there's a geographic anomaly. Pink Beach. Yep, they really thought long and hard when they named this bad boy. This beach takes on its distinctive pinkish hue from the white sand mixing with red pieces of coral. Great for snorkeling opportunities or just taking in the fairy tale esque landscape. Unlike a lot of the other places on our list, this beach isn't next to a resort. As a result, it's not all that busy and you can truly take in the relaxing atmosphere. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We put up brand new videos every week, so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a single one. And remember, if you watched this video at work and you still have a job, then you just dodged the Daily Pink Slip.